So if we were going to sign a new artist or songwriter to our team at Full Circle Music, these are the qualities that we would look for. Hey, for those of you guys who don't know me, I'm Seth Mosley. I'm a Grammy-winning songwriter and music producer. And out of my success, I've been able to invest in up-and-coming songwriters through starting a publishing company here at Full Circle Music. We get submissions all the time from people who are crazy talented. Some people who are not as talented, if you've ever seen any of the American Idol auditions. Kind of comical at times. But we, we're always looking for new talent, for people to sign, for songs to sign. And so what are the qualities that we look for in you know, that would push us over the cliff to wanting to actually offer them a, a publishing deal. So the first thing I would say is we look for people who are self-starters and people who are writing all the time, like even without us, without us having to motivate them. Um, the, the, the reality is with being a, a career songwriter, it's a really hard way to make a living, just to be honest, nowadays. I mean, Really, the way to make a living at it is either getting songs placed in like film and TV or movies or video games or ads, or to get radio singles like in the country market or in the pop market. But that is really hard. It's it really starts out as like a one in a thousand chance. Like you may have to write your first thousand songs before you get that uh, you know num big number one with an artist. Uh, for a lot of art writers, it doesn't necessarily have to be that, but. Um, we look for people that would do it, they, they, it's, that writing is just their expression. It's the way that they um, interact with the world. It's the way that they process things. They process things through songs. And so for people who just do it naturally and, and, and they don't have to be told to do it, they don't have to um, have, a, have a business motivation behind it, they just write because it's what they do, those are the type of people that we look for. It's people that if they weren't getting paid anything, and if they were the last person on earth, they would still do it. Those are the kind of songwriters that we look for. So that's, it's really more about the type of person than it is like how many followers they have or how many songs they've written or whatever. So once we've kind of got that foundation and we really feel like we know them well and we have that, that trust that this is who they are, the second thing is just chemistry. Like, would they get along with our team? Stacy Wilbur is the uh, VP of publishing here and the one that runs all of our operations for our songwriters. So they're going to be interacting with her a lot more than they're interacting with me. Like I'm, I'm overseeing from kind of a high level. I'll, I'll provide um, insight. I'll listen to songs, give some feedback from time to time. You know, if sessions make sense to pull them in as co-writers from time to time, that can be a little more few and far between, especially for the newer writers out there. But there is the chance that that could happen. Um, so really, are they a good fit with our team? Are they cool working with Stacy? Do they get on good with her? It's just basic kind of like, are they a good hang? Are they a good vibe? Do we share um, some similarities there? Um, and then the last thing I would say is people who are in it to serve, and they're in it for the long haul. Um, the game of songwriting is a marathon. It's not a sprint. It's often said that Nashville is kind of a 10-year town, that it can often take up to 10 years for some people to break into the business as a songwriter and you know for me it happened a lot quicker than that and there's a lot of other people that it happens quicker and hopefully working with somebody like us is a way to sort of fast forward that we just always want to be really realistic and clear with our expectations for people that this isn't going to happen overnight um, trust us when we say this is a long game everything we do is not about creating some you know, instant overnight result or overnight success, although we do want that for ourselves and for the writers. It's really about establishing people in relationships with other people who are going to move the needle forward. So that's always the thing we try to encourage our writers with it. Hey, whatever writing session you're going into today, don't look at it as a chance to um, get a, a cut on a record or an outcome or some kind of desired result. Look at it as a chance to build a relationship with that co-writer that will hopefully invite you back in and back in and back in. That's the dream writer. Somebody that says, hey, just put me in, coach. Just give me a chance. Put me in the room, and I'll take it from there. I'll deliver. I'll make friends with the person. I'll get their number. I'll, you know, within reason, uh, pursue more follow-up rights with them if it makes sense. That's the way I've always been as a songwriter. My publishers love me for that. And I'm not saying that out of a cocky or prideful way. I'm just saying that is the dream songwriter. 
And it's not to say that we aren't working as publishers. We're still going to be doing all the things that we do. We're going to follow up with them, make sure you're front of mind, making sure your songs are front of mind. But really, it's up to you. It doesn't matter where you sign as a writer. Your success is ultimately up to you as a songwriter because it all comes down to the songs. It all comes down to your consistency and you're building a really a massive catalog. And I can't tell you how many just legendary Nashville songwriters have been uh, in the room with me. And uh, I'm just amazed at what a numbers game it kind of is. Like yesterday, I was riding with a guy named Mark Irwin who had his first massive country single in 1990. We're like 30 years later and the guy is still doing it. That's really the dream. Like, where do you want to be in 30 years? Do you still want to be able to make a living doing what you're doing? The goal for him is never, um, you know, the number ones or the awards or anything like that. It's literally just writing for the sheer joy of doing it. And you look at how many songs that guy has written in his career. It's it's got to be in the thousands at this point. And really, he's probably made the bulk of his living off of four or five of those songs. And that's the game that we're all facing as songwriters. That we have to know that 90% of the time our stuff's going to hit the wall. It's going to fail or maybe 99% of the time. But we're waiting for that one or two or three things that work, that put us on the map, that are able to feed our families, and that allow us just to do what we love to do, which is to write songs every other day of the week. So that's really what we look for in a nutshell. I know that might be a little bit overwhelming for people out there. So the first thing I would suggest you start with is just getting really clear on what lane you want to be in as a songwriter. Um, you know, really just try and dedicate focus towards like if you want to get into country, like really focus on learning that market. Listen to what's on country radio. If you want to get into writing worship music, get into the church and like learn what kind of songs work and just be committed to doing it for, you know, a, a good solid couple years till you figure out if that's the right lane for you. And you can always kind of shift and pivot from there if it doesn't seem to be working. But just be in it for the long haul. That's what we look for at Full Circle Music. Hey, what's up? Hope you loved the video. If you did, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to our page for more awesome music industry content. If you are interested in getting a publishing deal, a record deal, or having a career in the music business, I've got a free video class for you right here. Click that link down there to get access to it. And if you want to check out another one of my vlogs, click up here.